Good morning, my name is Willy Klein. I'm uh, the application engineer for L Acoustics for uh, Poland. And I'm happy to here to meet all the lovely people from Audio Plus, our distributor. So I'm here to show you as we have the fruit stands with this uh, four iMacs on the booth from L Acoustics, which has the uh, Lisa Studio software here, which is uh, downloadable for free on our homepage. The studio is the surface of the Elisa controller that you can use, including the controller later on. It is meant as a preparation software for at home, when you're on a train, on a flight, at home in a studio, preparing something. And it has uh, this window, which you can see, which is a controller software. So on the left hand side, we have several sources lists, group lists, snapshots. These are windows you can activate or deactivate it. Master volume trims for the master of the processor. Then you have the, another one which does the reverb with the room engine. The groups list is like on the desk. You have the groups, percussion synth, as you can see here with the DCA. These are all your objects that you can see here. They are like the normal inputs as you would have on a band. And then you have the snapshots like you would have in real life, where you couldn't go uh, and fire uh, snapshots. And uh, when you fire the snapshots, you will see movements. You have a screen here. This screen over here, these gray parts, is the simulation of all the speakers you will have later on in your design. Because uh, we import a sound vision design into there, which then will emulate the speakers in the original position. As you can see here, you see various objects. If I select one of them, whichever one 22 is selected now, that's synth keyboard. And if we go down here, we see there are several parameters like pan, width, distance, and elevation, if you have elevation speakers. And as you can see, this object is moving, and it's very easy to do something and change something with this. In words, you just take your mouse, you click on an object, uh, and then when, when you activate this, you can move it around and uh, play freely with it. It's very easy if you have a multi-track recording of your favorite band or if you are a project uh, engineer or if you're a creative artist for uh, events then you can do that with Ableton. You connect to the processor in the Lisa Studio and you can set it up. You can do all the work before at home on binaural. The uh, headphones work from at home on a train, on a plane. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. It's very easy to use. Even I can use it. So uh, have fun downloading it. Go to the homepage. And I think the binaural version is for free, as to my information. Um, and play around with it. Thank you very much.